just one week before Gloria Williams is set to go to trial. Never before released evidence reveals new information about the case. Now it not only shows the great links Williams took to hide her secret. We have also learned that Kamaya's birth mother contacted her missing daughter nearly two years before any arrest was ever made. First Coast News Julia Janae is live tonight in the Information Center digging deeper. Julia. That's right, Heather. Those details came out in an information dump from the state attorney's office. This 25 page report from JSO gives 18 years of details all leading up to this case that's now before a judge. It don't make no sense to cry. Kamaya Mobley is still in close contact with the woman who raised her and new documents from police show just how long Mobley knew her true identity. Sometime in 2015, police learned from a family member that Mobley, known as Alexis, was applying for a job at Shoney's and after encountering problems, she confronted Williams about not having a social security card. The family member told police it was then that Williams told the teen her real name and how she had been kidnapped. Witnesses told detectives they saw Kamaya searching for her birth parents online. Everyone wants to know, have you discovered yourself? Who are you? I still don't know what it means to answer that. Kamaya's curiosity about her true identity would lead her to make a phone call. The police report says she told detectives she called her birth mother, Shannara Mobley, a year and a half before police interviewed her in January of 2017. She told them she hung up as soon as Shannara answered without saying a word. But in 2015, the same number sent her a text that said, Happy birthday. Kamaya replied, Why do you think it's my birthday? And the conversation stopped. She's still a mother behind bars. She's still like, stay, oh, she stays on me hard. Like, hey, what you doing? You got this yet? You, what are you doing? What college you going to? The mother who continues to write from jail to the daughter at the center of her case. In March of last year, she wrote, Are you mad at me for all of this mess? Love you always, Mama.